Hi, I'm Kirsten Meekin from Nao Nails and in this video I'm going to show you how to do a gothic almond nail. I'm going to use a bit of gel polish as well, but the main attraction for this nail is the gorgeous 3D flower that has a detailed ribbon bow inside it with a bit of bling. So I've already prepped this nail, meaning I have removed the surface shine from the nail. I am going to put the form on before I put the prep products on, only because I might touch the natural nail. And I don't want to be touching the primer and things like that. And we're going to do a gothic almond shape. I wanted to do something a little bit different. We've done a lot of almond, stiletto, ballerina. And to be honest, I like doing different shapes. I like throwing shapes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Come on, show me. No. <laughs> There's no music. There's like, I need mm. a beat. Mm. Give me big a beat. Big fish, little fish, got ball box. Big fish, little fish, got ball box. So I'm just dehydrating with the nail prep dehydrator, of course. And I'm gonna prime. Acid free primer this is. So I'm going to sculpt this out in natural beige. Starting in the centre of the nail, and I'm going to bring it down. So I'm not going to worry about that cuticle area yet. It's a long nail, so we'll need a few beads. I'm gonna go to the back now. Making sure it's nice and flush. Now I'm concentrating on this sort of pointed part of the nail and make sure that this is all in the right place. We've got the shape coming out into a point at the top here, just there. And we've got this slope here as well. You've got to make both sides the same. So this angle of the slope needs to be the same. Now we're going to concentrate on the apex. And you've got to do each piece at a time because if you try to do the whole nail thinking about not flooding the cuticle, getting the apex and doing the free edge shape all at the same time, you really get confused because it'd be hard work especially on such a long nail if it's such a if it's a really small nail that's fine but when you're doing a long nail you've got to do each section at a time step by step step by step oh baby, baby gonna get to you girl No way! 1990 baby Adam, not 1930. <gasps> oh my god, we're 70s babies. Ha! Speak for yourself. Are you not a 70s baby? 81. <laughs> oh. We will pinch this nail just to get it nice and slender, but only when the time's right. Pinching too early will make the sides go.
So I'm just going to hand file the side walls and the free edge a little bit before I use the electric file. I'm just going to refine the shape. If you look at it, it doesn't actually need a lot of filing. So I'm literally just going to skip over. So I'm just going to file and I'm making sure that I really do file these sides because they really wrap around so you've got a really contour. I'm going to go over with a white block just to really smooth that out. I'm going to wipe over this now with some pure acetone just to smooth that out and remove any dust. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, I'm going to apply this colour, this is from the Pearl Collection. Pearly, pearly, pearls a singer, and she dance the thing on the piano in the nightclub. I'm not even, I'm not in the 70s now. 1990. So I'm just going to put one coat of this on, I'll cure that and then I'll put a second coat. I think I'm going for a second coat. To be honest, I don't know. I'm going to think about that. It will want to. I think mm. it'll want to. <clears throat> yeah. That's very nice, isn't it? I don't think it needs to. Adam, it'll embrace the colour case. Right, um, go on then. What a gorgeous colour that is. I'm going to use the new top coat on that, which will make it all shiny. As shiny as a diamond. So now we've got that on. We are going to create a beautiful flower that has a bow inside. Never seen that before. First time for everything. The liquid I'm going to use is the high speed because whenever I do 3D, I like it to set quite quick. I don't want to be sat around waiting for it to, to set. So I'm going to start by placing some beads on. I like to work with three at a time. Making them into a moon shape. Half a moon. Half a moon duck. Pressing it out. I'm going to start to build this now. I'm going to pop a bead of acrylic, bring it out. This is going to be the centre. This is more of a marker than anything. I'm doing it this way because it's going to have an open centre where the bow will sit. When I'm placing the petals down, I'm making sure when I put them down, the side that was touching the backing paper is the side that sticks to either the nail or overlaps onto the next petal. So I don't turn it over or anything like that. So I'm using soft peach, soft pastel peach, sorry. We're going to do the bow a little bit different than we normally do. So I'm basically going to do a long, thin 
He says if it's like a ribbon, quite, a, and we're going to do quite thin loops. So we still want a little bit of a point on each end. It's going to be a lot longer than we normally do. I join these loops together now. I pick up these tails. Give it a bit of a bend. I'm gonna put a little bit of clear acrylic there. Ain't that just the cutest thing you ever did see? I'm gonna put a little bit of clear acrylic there. To attach the tails. So I'm just nipping that. It's gonna give it a sharper edge as well, just to make it a little bit shorter. So I'm gonna put a stone in the middle. I'm gonna use some clear acrylic. Pop that into the centre, tiny bead. And just press that into the bead of acrylic. And then we want a short detail brush, a little bit of white paint. <laughs> I'm just gonna paint little tiny stitches. So the paintwork doesn't come off, I'm going to put some brush on glue on the bow. That'll seal it in. Also go around the stone, that'll also help the stone to stay on as well. 
So that bow is more like the thin ribbon that you get rather than like a big chunky Jojo bow. I think that is perfect for any occasion. Would it be a wedding, maybe? Or you could have that on your nail if you were having a baby shower. There you are, I hope you've enjoyed this video of this beautiful flower growing a bow. I think it's like it's growing the bow. It's gorgeous anyway, I love it, it's very, very cute. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the button for subscribe. And also check us out on Facebook and Instagram. All the products that we've used today in this video are in the description box below, so you can check them out as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!